what is the one thing you need to know before starting off year 11? Now, before I get into it, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Yusuf, and I pretty much go all nines and GCSEs, but it wasn't easy. I started off year 10 quite badly. I was getting bad, bad grades. My teachers weren't really happy with me. And then COVID hit, so it made everything even worse because we had online learning. But then in year 11, I, I clutched up. And so the one thing you need to know is that the time is short. Right? You start off year 11 thinking you have a lot of time until the exam season comes. But then, you know, once the ball starts rolling, it comes way faster than you think. And that's why you see a month or two before exams, your, your friends and the people around you, they start panicking because they procrastinated putting in the work and then all of a sudden it just hits them. But you can very, very easily beat this. So I'm going to share a technique today that's very, very basic, but no one does it and it works so well. And the technique is starting from around October 1st, you know, the beginning of October, all the way until the exam season, you need to be putting in 30 minutes a day, just 30 minutes. In those 30 minutes, you do whatever you want, but it has to be related to what you're studying, right? Everyone is different, so everyone has different studying techniques, but I would recommend something like going through the specification and making notes on it, or maybe watching videos that are uh, specific to whatever subject you're, you're, you're looking at, and making notes for it, and making flashcards, and then testing yourself. And the reason why this works so well is, well, let's do the math. The average A-star student probably does four or five hours of studying in a month leading up to the exam season, right? That's around 150 hours in total, right? And they probably do some studying before, but it's quite negligible. Now let's say that you actually implement this technique, right? You do 30 minutes a day from October 1st to around June 1st, you know, when the exam season starts. That's already 120 hours. So if you add only one hour or maybe two hours a day in the month leading up to the exam on top of that, you've already beaten that, you know, average A star student that does five hours a day. And guess what? You've bypassed all this panic because you know that you're prepared all the way from October 1st. Think about it. In the month or the two months leading up to the exam when everyone is putting in a lot of hours you're going to be at the same level but at the same time you're going to have so much more time in the day you go to the gym go on walks whatever you want read books whatever, literally whatever you want you have more time which means you're just going to be living a better life your quality of life is going to be higher you're not going to be stressed mentally mentally you're just going to be relaxed while everyone else is stressing and at the same time you would probably even do better than them because you've been preparing for so much longer now of course you don't have to follow the technique to the letter you know you could do a bit less every day a bit more every day if you want to or you don't even have to do it every day maybe five times a week take two days off on the weekends for example just make sure you stay consistent and i guarantee you i guarantee you that you'll be in a much much better position than 90 percent of the people pretty much around the world that are doing their gcse's with you